Hey y'all, what's up? It's Neosha. How y'all doing today? Well, me y'all, I'm fine, but welcome to my channel, y'all. Thanks so much for clicking and watching this video. Now, if you haven't done so already, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please go hit the notification button next to the word subscribe so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video or a delicious recipe, y'all. It is Wednesday. It's actually Ash Wednesday, y'all. And if you're not familiar with Ash Wednesday, I think it's more so of a Catholic thing. Everybody in New Orleans does Ash Wednesday, um, off, uh, all of the kids are off on Good Friday. Some businesses are closed on Good Friday. Um, and that's the day they give us to observe as well. Easter Sunday, since the holiday falls on the weekend. So when I moved to Georgia, that was my first time ever experiencing a culture that did not conform to that standard. But I guess... Uh, there's so many different religions and things here. You know, I think Catholic uh, is the more dominant uh, pr uh, prominent in New Orleans. But today's Ash Wednesday, and it actually kicks off Lent season, y'all. And Lent is, uh, from my perspective, when God, when Jesus, before he was um, crucified, uh, he stayed there 40 days, 40 nights, and prayed. That's where the devil tempted him. Um, and it was just a sign of sacrifice. So since Jesus gave up for us, then we can give up for him. And uh, it lasts from Ash Wednesday all the way until Easter Sunday. And you give something up. So y'all, I'm giving up. <laughs> I know it's easy to say, well, I'll stop eating candy, stop eating snacks, but I'm not a candy person. I'm not a snack eater, y'all. We still have chocolates from, we still have three boxes of chocolates on the table from Valentine's Day that we still have not getting, gotten through. We try to eat one piece of candy every night, but we're just not that type of family. Fruits, veggies, and things like that, that's more so of what we go for. And not just me, my kids too, y'all. Um, but I'm more of a rice bowl, pasta, bread type girl. So since those are the things that I really, really like, that's what I'm going to be giving up for this extended period of time. Y'all, I'm going to ask y'all to hold me accountable. If y'all see me in this video, toasting me up some bread, say, ah, ah, girl, stop. It's Lent season. No, you know, God is so good and God is so gracious and he does so much for us. And he did sacrifice a lot just for our sins. You know, I'm going to make sure I stay on track because that's the least I could do. You know, it's the least I could do. So y'all already have my coffee. I don't know if any of y'all uh, practice Lent, uh, participate in Lent, but if so, comment down below and let me know what y'all will be giving up as well. So y'all, let's go ahead and get into our 365 days of prayer. Yesterday was actually Mardi Gras in New Orleans, y'all. I was off work all day and did nothing. I didn't even sit down and do schoolwork. The idea was that I would get some school assignments and stuff done, y'all. I did nothing. And I enjoyed doing nothing, to be honest with you. Also, I hope um, y'all checked out my last vlog um, about let love lead always. And it's just amazing to me, y'all. After I did that video about let love lead always and speaking about speaking positivity on other people's lives and uplifting them, my pastor had the same, same message. But it was just amazing to me that was the message that was produced after God touched my heart to speak about letting love lead always, y'all. But it's a thing, y'all. We have to come together in love and not judge our brothers and sisters and uplift them instead of using our bread to talk down on them. Thank you, Jesus. So, February 27th, I hit it again. February 22nd says far away. And God whose word I praise, in God I put my trust, I shall not be afraid. What can mere man do to me? This is from Psalms 56 and 4. Um, Father, you are so faithful. As I pause and consider the times you've removed an obstacle from my path, made a way where there was none, I know you can do anything. Someone I love needs your help, Lord. We can't see the way through. But I know you do. Our enemy wants us to focus on the obstacle, obstacle so we forget we have you, our great intercessor. He wants us trusting our own efforts or giving up entirely. Help us to trust you, Father. As we place this matter before you, lift our eyes off the problem and into you. Lift the problem and take it far away. What problems 
needs to be taken away. Man, God is always on time and he gives us that blessed assurance. I'm dealing with a situation uh, and that was the, to prompt me to have the last discussion that I had with y'all about speaking love and life. And one of the things I said is our job is to love our brothers and sisters. There's so many messages in the Bible that teaches us and tells us that we are to love our brothers and sisters, but there's nowhere in the Bible that says we are the fixer of man, y'all. God is the fixer of man. Our job is to love him and let God fix him. And I am dealing with a situation with someone in my family who's going through a really rough time, you know? And I was just trying to encourage people to not be so judgmental. You know, I, I, when people... When people get in a bind or people go through hard times, the only thing people want to focus on is the hard times or the, or, the, or, or the person that that person appears to be right then and there. And for some reason, in some people's mind, it outshadows all the good. This person could have been good all their life and do one bad thing. And the only thing that shines and some people take it and run with is that bad thing. Everybody forget all the good and all the love that this person extended themselves to show. Leaving this person to be alone and by themselves, battling or dealing with something that's probably really hard for them. But when they was there for us, you know, it was all good. When they need somebody to be there for them, we so busy going around talking about them, judging, look, looking at them crazy. Instead of picking up on the signs that this person is hurting and extending our love and care. All sometimes it takes is love and care. You get on your knees and you pray to God, I promise you God will send his angels and, you know, penetrate the person's heart, the Holy Spirit. But instead of using all of our breath to speak negative, we speak a life on people. We speak, speak uplifting on people. And I promise you, the more we do it, the more God is gonna, gonna, gonna fix the situation. God is gonna work, God is gonna work. He, he's done it uh, many, many times, many, many times. It really is though sad and heartbreaking to see this person go through or experiencing what they're experiencing because it is the sweetest individual that you could ever come across. But all people want to do is talk about the, the difficult times they're going through now. Nobody wants to reflect on how that person was there for them in a time when they most needed it, you know? And it lacks the amount of help that this person has. But you know what? In God's time and God's will, because I'm quite sure it's something that this person is also learning while they're going through their trial and tribulation that's going to help them and build them to be a stronger person. I really do believe God assigns the difficult battles to his most chosen people. And I know for sure when God brings this person through, they're going to have a testimony out of this word that's going to save a multitude of people. Yes. So, y'all, just always speak upliftment. Uh, speak, always speak life upon people. I know when I open my vlogs, they be real chatty, chatty, chatty. Y'all don't be trying to hold y'all that long. But, like I said, when I get on here, none of my messages or none of my vlogs or nothing is scripted. I really just turn the camera on because I get a nudge to say I should. And I don't know what I'm about to sit up here and talk about, y'all. One thing I know for sure, two things for certain, though. Your girl, Flower, was still looking pretty good. I just um, filled my water back up a little bit with um, room temperature water. I should have cleaned the vessel, but it's okay, y'all. They still thriving. They still looking good. Um, one thing about me, I could keep flowers like this alive for a very long time, y'all. I could probably grow with these flowers for about a month. Baby, you give me a planted uh, a, a potted flower or a uh, plant <laughs> dead dead it won't even see morning I don't know why y'all and I do the same thing you know I put the water and I make sure it stay nourished with the potted plants I always set them by a window set them outside just thinking they go get some fresh light them plants never live but I'm not gonna give up on my hand I'm not giving up on my hand at the flowers because I actually want to get some living plants and flowers and put around my porch. But I'm going to stop rambling, y'all. Sip my coffee for a little bit longer right here, and then I'm going to go to my desk, y'all, and uh, get my day started. I do have some packages coming today. Um, Instacart, of course. Y'all know I love me some Instacart. So, um, yeah, I'll show y'all that stuff when they get here, okay? I'm going to holler. 
Hey y'all, so I decided to take a little 10, 15 minute break from work to show y'all <laughs> the stuff that I recently uh, got from Instacart. I purchased off of Sephora and I purchased Bath and Body Works, of course. So let's just run through uh, the stuff that I have. So y'all, it's coming up into summer y'all and your girl wants some really even glowy skin. <clears throat> and the weather's already changing y'all. I don't know where winter went. But winter came, saw an exit stage left real fast. I guess it wasn't much for them to see. Y'all, my kids just went back to school on winter break. I just don't know where the time went. But nevertheless, y'all, since the weather's starting to change and I'm starting to see the sun and all, it's just prompting me to understand that it's time for me to get my skin the way I would like it to be for the summer, y'all. Because I'm not trying to pile a whole lot of makeup. I'm going to be able to run out the door real quick and fast, you know, looking looking like I'm looking uh, maybe do some eyebrows a little bit of mascara a little bit of concealer if needed and some lip gloss and I'll be good so I started to run out of my Dermalogica daily uh, microfolian and I always say when I run out of it I'm not going to repurchase it even though I love it and I've been purchasing that for many years I wanted to try something a little bit different I always see people talking about the Dr. Gross um, ultra gentle peel the daily peel See, I see it's blurry. So, y'all, this is what I purchased. It's an ultra gentle formula, two step patent peel, patented peel. Yeah, if you have dehydrated or sensitive skin, uneven tone or texture, fine lines or enlarged pores, but you want dewy skin, calm skin, and immediate um, radiance, then you use this, y'all. So, I'm excited to try it. This is a 30 day supply. Um, after I cleanse my skin, I read the, uh, the uh, direction. So once I cleanse my skin, I pat my skin dry. I use the step one. And once the step one dries, I'll wait a minute or so. Then I use the step two. Oh, it's upside down. So y'all, I'll take the full pictures of my face. Even though I've done a video before um, with how I healed my skin, y'all. Um, and that was just about a lot of the stuff that I ingest. Now, I still drink uh, celery juice every day. Even though I'm not making it myself, I've been buying the Suya uh, celery juice and I drink it every day. Stuff like that is just really good for your skin. Drinking tons of water. Uh, I still maintain that, y'all. But, you know, I work on the inside. Now I want to work on the outside. Uh, so my skin could look beautifully, uh, beautiful and flawless for the summer. So we're going to try that in addition to my normal uh, wash routine. And y'all know I use the uh, CeraVe Sensitive Skin Auto Foaming Face Wash. So, yeah. Another thing that I purchased, y'all, was the Freck Beauty Cactus Water Toner. I used to use this all of the time. I think I had went through maybe six of them and got tired or bored with it and said I wanted to try something different. But it's time for me to bring it back to the basics, y'all. This is a lactic acid toner and it is the bomb. It is really good. I mean, it works really good for my skin. I can't speak for everybody, everybody's skin, uh, but this works really good. This was the best toner I had ever used. So I'm, I'm gonna just go back to it, y'all. I'm running really low on my Tatcha water cream and I just don't want to ever be without a good face moisturizer so I purchased this y'all and vitamin C I really just want to incorporate vitamin C back into my skin daily when I ran out of the Olay every time I go on Target when I have to purchase a Walmart online they never have the vitamin C um, moisturizer it's only the mini they always have so I just went ahead and purchased the um, Sunday Riley's uh, CEO Glow. And this is a vitamin C turmeric face oil with advanced vitamin C turmeric and evening primrose oil to visibly brighten, hydrate, and balance and glow your skin. So I'm really excited about this, y'all. This is the 35 milliliter bottle. So your girl is gonna be incorporating this daily. So hopefully we should see a difference in my skin within a month. <laughs> And y'all know, last but not least, y'all know I love everything this brand makes. The smell is what gets me all of the time. But this is the Bum Bum Body uh, Formiza oil. And I could definitely be saying that wrong. 
but this is the firming oil that they recently came out with y'all and i am so excited to try it i'm just going to incorporate this in my daily shower routine oh let me show y'all i purchased something last week that i newly incorporated in my shower routine there's a stopper on it so i can't smell it but i can only imagine how delicious this smells um and it comes with a pump but let me quickly show y'all what else i incorporated in my routine and i purchased this last week All right, y'all, I just had to pull it out of my shower, but it's the Natrium, the Brightener Vitamin C Body Wash, and it gently cleanses, exfoliates, and brightens for radiant looking skin. Um, So I've been using this for a week now, and I love it. Um, I'll say, uh, The reason I purchased this brand though is because a lot of people compare it. I believe this is what they compare to the Necessaire, and it definitely leaves you feeling nice, squeaky, and clean, but yeah. Uh, these are the things that I'm going to be incorporating into my daily my daily skin routine for face and body uh, because your girl is just trying to get prepared nice smooth supple for the summer yes now from Bath and Body Works your girl was uh, on her last little bit of candle um, and I also like the hand washes they have at Bath and Body Works so it was by four for 24 I think so I purchased up four. So this is the gentle and clean fo uh, foaming hand wash and creamy vanilla and sparkling sugar crystals. This is it in eucalyptus mint. This is it in kitchen lemon. I love the lemon kitchen. I love it. And this is it in fresh rainfall. This is my first time going using fresh uh, rainfall. Y'all, then I just bought me some candles. That was it. Uh, this is the vanilla bean. I did not purchase vanilla bean, but the one I purchased, they didn't have it. So I let the representatives just substitute. I don't like to give them a hassle when they have to substitute for me. So I tell them to just make the best choices based off of what you see I already have. And usually they do a really good job. So this is the vanilla bean and it actually smells very good. I'm very pleased to have it. Strawberry pound cake. We already know strawberry pound cake is bomb. This is the Paris Cafe. I love Paris Cafe. Oh, it's just like a coffee pastry smell. Like when you go into a, a really, really good coffee house that sells pastries, this is what it smells like. Oh, it's so divine. I could actually smell this all day. I cannot wait to burn. It's probably gonna be the first one that I use. This was actually a substitute and I'm not, I just don't know how this will smell. It's a fresh smell. I'll probably burn it in the kid's bathroom or something. It's okay. I might even take it back over the weekend and swap it for something that I actually like as well. So this is some Bunny Loves You uh, Sweet Carrot Cake. This is my first time smelling a carrot cake candle. And look how pretty it is. It's a bunny rabbit. Can y'all see? Look, it's a bunny rabbit, and then the, that is just super beautiful. Oh, it's divine. I could have purchased all of my candles. Mine is the Cat Paris Cafe, but I could have did the vanilla bean, the strawberry pound cake for, the, for three of these. That smells good. And then y'all, it is cinnamon spiced vanilla, and that smells good too. Now, to be honest with you, I might take the, that's my work phone, y'all, I'm getting to it in a minute. I might take the mahogany coconut bag and the cinnamon spice vanilla bag, and I might just get me two more of these because I really enjoy the way this smells. So y'all, this is all I have from Bath and Body Works and all that I have from Sephora. Uh, when my stuff comes from Amazon, I'll show y'all that too if y'all interested. And then that's really gonna close up my vlog for today. Let me get my work phone. All right, y'all, I'm back sitting at my desk. It's currently 3.20ish. Got my daughter off her bus already, and Amazon showed up. So I'll show y'all quickly what I purchased. So I needed some more kitchen towels, so I bought a 12-pack, y'all. I hope these are the wash. 
All of these are the wash kitchen towels and not the hand kitchen towels, if that makes sense. Close the pack. Oh, these are the long ones. This is not necessarily what I wanted and it's pretty thin, but it'll do. It'll do. And it does say tall kitchen towels. Maybe I clicked on the wrong link because... Well, I mean, multi-purpose cleaning towels for dishes, tea, and bar, so... They'll definitely do. I needed me some more towels though. They smell like some kind of chemical. I needed some more of my toothpaste, y'all. I love this toothpaste. This or the Almond Hammer Complete Care. This is the uh, pedicure kit. Manicure pedicure kit. Oh no, this is the drill kit. So it comes with the wire, um, the sandpaper, I guess you'll call it, the sanding uh, paper. It comes with the drill. It comes with a cute brush with bling bling on the bottom the different uh, drill heads that you can use and it, um, more drill heads that you could use and uh, sandpaper there's the roughest to the smoothest so that's pretty good I'm definitely gonna need that to get this gel off my toes I'll let y'all know how it works because I'm going to be using this really soon because I just need to do a self-care reset. Y'all yeah, been running backwards and forth, work. I'm behind school, like four assignments that I promise I'm going to get done this week because I'm actually just about a class behind and it's not going to last. That. It's not going to stay there because work is smoothing out. I don't have to travel anymore, so I can handle my business. Um... I turned in an assignment last night. I'm gonna turn one in today and I'm gonna turn one in every day. So this is the Melody Susie Bring Your uh, Nail Salon Home P-Series Sheen Nail Drill. So, happy to have that. This is the Rayner um, Electric Lighter, I guess. Let's see. I walked outside to go get my daughter when I came back. My face right here, y'all, but I'm allergic to just about everything. My breaks are, are sporadic. I'm allergic to grass, dust, all kind of stuff. And I think they were blowing the grass earlier, so anything just breaks me out. It's gonna be going tomorrow. So, it is a rose goldish colored electric lighter turn it on and oh it's a shock like thing oh that's pretty cool y'all so it's a candle lighter hmm. and it comes with the charger so that's really nice I'm actually gonna use that soon because I cannot wait to burn Either that Paris Cafe candle or the, um, I'm sorry, I was about to sneeze. I can't wait to burn that Paris Cafe candle or that, uh, what is that cake? Uh, carrot cake candle. Y'all, it gives you a 12 month warranty. So that's really good. I'm gonna register so I can get my warranty so if it break, it could break a day before the year is up. I'm gonna get me a new one. I also have me a nail filing kit. So it's the files and then the buffers. And then I purchased the Therobreath. The girls use the Therobreath. 
I'm a, a fan now of the Smart Mouth, but I still have Smart Mouth Wash. But the girls like this one out. The last one they tried was the Pink Sparkly Mint. They just gonna have to go with the normal mouth wash this time because it was two for like $15. So wasn't bad, $7.50, a little bit cheaper than in store. So there you have it. And this is the Invigorating Icy Mint. The last thing I purchased was a gift for the girls. For some reason, they love this Pokemon. They already had one of these sets, and I was told that you have to keep purchasing the same set until they get all of the cards. So this is just a little treat for them once they get home. My youngest daughter is already home, but my oldest daughter is at drama, the drama club. So. So y'all, uh, tonight we gonna do shrimp tacos. I have a lot of videos on my channel of me making shrimp tacos, y'all. I'm actually getting a little tired now. I can't wait for this work day to be over. Not saying it's a bad day, it was actually a wonderful day. But I'm ready for it to be over. Um, so yeah, we just doing shrimp tacos tonight, nothing fancy. Uh, and just chill out, Mad Singer comes on tonight. Mad Singer, that's our show. If you don't know, now you know. We actually can't wait till the season restarts, so. That's what we're going to do tonight. Nothing extra. So with that being said, I'm going to let y'all go here. But thanks so much for clicking and watching this video. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification button. Next to the word subscribe so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video or a recipe. And please tell your mom and them, your cousin and your sister and your brother and them. Tell your friends, your foe. Everyone you know. Don't forget your neighbors and coworkers. But tell them come holler at me, your girl Miyosha. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. So bye.